All right, that was weird. My camera just all of a sudden stopped. So this is going to be part two because I filmed all of that. I don't even know when it stopped. You see, and this is what happens in Albany. You get one pocket, one little inch, and you're gonna go flying. Couldn't even put salt down, Kathy Sheehan. Couldn't even put salt down. You raise taxes by like a couple hundred dollars every year to make it impossible for people to live in the city of Albany comfortably. Hopefully this the highway is better, I don't know. bumps now for people to just ignore because no one cares about speed bumps I'm just saying they really don't like they could give two fucks about speed bumps but whatever that's just my opinion Anywho, alright, the highway is a little bit better, I will say that, not by much, but there's not, it's not as bad, I feel in some ways, like, we might have heated high highways, which is a huge conspiracy theory, but it's New York State, so you never know, and with all the construction they do and all the budget that they have they're all sneaky squirrely alright and tell me how New York State got so I did some investigating billions of dollars in COVID relief funds alright it's supposed to be for essential workers you know all that blah 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 Nobody has seen one penny. I haven't seen a penny of it. A lot of people haven't. I guess, like, private, you know, like, not state-run facility, long-term living facilities for differently able people. If you were there during COVID and you worked a certain amount of time beforehand, you got the stimulus or whatever it was called, the essential worker money, that is just coming from someone who worked in a long-term residential facility during COVID, who had been there for 10 years, and because at that time, even though she worked there, well, more than 10 years even, um, she was working nights, I think, or something, there was a loophole, so yeah, so I was investigating, because, you know, I'm, I need money for my donor eggs, and why did they turn it into a grant? For parents who used a daycare during COVID, why did they make it for small businesses to stay afloat, but not give any money to police agencies, people who worked in courthouses during the pandemic, who actually physically worked in the courthouses? I'm grateful that my boss did not furlough us for the lockdown because I do not do well sitting around the house. And during the lockdown, like you went to Walmart, you couldn't you could buy the essentials. Any store you went in that wasn't locked down, you could buy the essentials. And our Walmart, they literally had clothes, stuff like that, roped off. 
because they weren't essentials. Okay, but what if it were winter and you needed winter clothes? Did you think of that? No. So, yeah. Anywho. I have, like, nobody has seen any money from that. That I know of. That I even know. But they put it down for grants. How are people supposed to know if you don't tell people? How are people supposed to know if there, there's grant money? You know how? Because they go through DSS to get assistance. I'm not acting on anyone who goes through DSS. Because you know what? If you went through DSS, if you worked during COVID, and you use child care, then hell yeah, get that grant money. Get that money. Because that means you actually left your house. Good job. I am all for people getting that money. If you actually left your house. If you were working from home and you just sent your kid to daycare because it was easier. No. No. Because depending on your kid's age, if your kid was school age, they were doing school. Alright, so no, you, you shouldn't be getting money for that. If your kid is old enough to occupy themselves and does not need to be watched every single second, day, then no. If your baby... If your child is a baby, all right, usually in New York State, you get six weeks off. So if your baby is older than that and you're working from home, like say you work for the state or something and you can work from home, like I know here, they brought computers to people's houses and hooked them up to the county and did virtual appointments. Like, so don't tell me your kid need to be in daycare. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, I would be kind of pissed if I were working from home because it was just like working at the office. Like, you literally could not do anything like people who work from home usually like I know someone who works for oops around who works for 3m you know tape the sticky things sticky notes all that crap who works for 3m literally as long as she is logged on she's considered working She's not even at her computer 90% of her time sometimes. So it's like, oh, I'm going to log on and then I'm going to just walk away from my computer. But it's, it's counting hours. So, yeah. So all the 3M stuff. Mm. Plus, okay. So she's a hypochondriac. Literally hypochondriac. She has had every test, everything under the sun done like surgeries medications everything and her thing is like going to the doctor getting sympathy like I think it's literally a form of getting attention oh my god help me look at me I'm so pathetic this is the ex-friend who broke up with me over text and said I had no morals and I was a horrible person um, because of my views on certain things, stuff like that. I've talked about her in another video. So, yeah, I don't feel bad about talking shit about her. So... 
at 3M, if you have health problems, they will use you like a guinea pig and send you to one of like the major hospitals in Boston. I don't know what one it is. And pay for treatment, you live on the campus, everything is paid for, yada yada. Yes, they will pay for that. She had tests on Mayo Clinic. Might not be in Boston. So she was able to go into the courthouse to the Mayo Clinic. Get all these tests. And they find out one thing wrong with her. That the doctors in Albany would have substantiated it. So, but now I'm going off on a tangent. But yeah. So, it was in the form of a grant. Why are small businesses that are just opening? after COVID, not even during COVID, to keep them afloat. But after COVID, why are they getting money? That money was supposed to be used for people who went to work and exposed themselves to COVID. Make it make sense. Because nursing homes, nursing homes, hospice, every place was a cesspool. A fucking cesspool of COVID. The courthouse, before they really did friggin' anything about it, was a cesspool. For COVID. So. There are no essential worker funds left. County. Federal. State. For private ones. You have to. I think the minimum. Requirement. To enter. For a. Grant was $30. I've seen a $100 application fee. All of that. If I have to pay to apply for something that is free, it is not free. If you have private donors that are consistent, Yeah. And then the fertility grant, like, you know, right to reproduce everything else. They have one clinic, which is in the city, which is, depending, three, four hours away. Because I didn't even bother looking it up. Because I know I have neither the money nor the time off of work to go to the city every other day for testing. And it is every other day that you go to get ultrasound and blood work. So even if I went after work, I would be barely making it. Or, if I just went on the weekends, that would be one thing, but then, yeah. They don't, you know, if you're going to do it for one, you've got to do it for all. And if you're going to do it for one, 
what's your reasoning for that? What's your reasoning behind that? None. So, yeah. It's just a cesspool of New York State supporting people. Who Yeah, I'm not even getting into that. I'll get into that in another video because I have a lot of tea on that. Um Yeah. And making it as hard as possible for people who want to have a baby to find help. And that is all I am saying about that. Happy December 6th. Have an amazing Wednesday. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Be awesome. Be amazing. Be the person. That the world needs because right now this world is going to hell real quick love you guys talk to you later